Hello everyone, my name is Collins Archie Pierce and I'm a Sierra Leonean film producer, actor, director based in the UK. What I'm about to tell you is nothing new. You must have heard it so many times on social media. But I want to emphasize on the fact that lots of the stuff we read from social media, they are not the true reflection of the coronavirus. Some of them are, are, are distorted, exaggerated, and when people read it, that instills fear into people. And you know what's happening here? The fear that is being instilled into people subsequently cause their immune system to be weakened. Trust me, fear weakens your immune system. And guess what? You would rely on your immune system to fight the coronavirus if you do contract it. I pray no one does. From now on, please abstain from listening to social media and whatnot. Listen to a reliable source like World Health Organization website. You can go there and check if you need information. Public Health England, you can check their website. You can also listen from perhaps Sky News, CNN, but don't listen to what people put on social media. It's really, really bad for you and me. Now, my other point is for us to continue to adhere to what the government says. One, wash your hands regularly. I know we always say 20 seconds. I give myself 30 seconds. I use 20 seconds to apply the soap and rub it properly. Make sure I, 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 I wash my hand, everything. And the remaining 10 seconds, I use it to rinse my hand. So I do 30 seconds. You can do the same if you want. Avoid shaking of hands, body contact. Forget about all those things. You can use your elbow to greet somebody. You can even do like this. Please, if you want to sneeze or cough, do like this, please. Make sure it's in here. At least you're not spreading the virus by doing coughing without covering your mouth or nose. Now, if for any reason you have accidentally touched any object that has been contaminated, don't worry, you still will not contract the virus unless if you use your contaminated hands to touch your face, more especially your eyes, your nose or your mouth. So avoid touching your face. Please, if you do contaminate your hands, when you get home, wash your hands, you still safe. Don't listen to all these news that's like trying to inculcate ideas into people, all these things that would instill fear, telling you you would contract it by touching contaminated surfaces or whatnot, or even it's airborne. Yes, even if that's the case, give us good news. Give us something that will elevate our spirit. We need to be happy now. We need to be joyful so that we can then lively up ourselves. We're at home, we've been like isolated or we've been like social distancing. Yes, but don't give us any bad news. We don't want any of these. So abstain from it, please, my brothers and sisters. Listen to what I have to say to you. Look for something that would elevate you. Read your Bible or read anything that would inspire you. Talk to friends on the phone, at least they would not contract it by listening to you, talking to you. So do me a big favor, friends. Abstain from social media. God bless you and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.